This is Twit. Bad news. Well, maybe not bad news, but at least details of this uh, Pegasus issue. More uh, information coming from the University of Toronto's Monk School uh, about how Pegasus works. And in fact, a specific example of how this uh, spyware technology from the NSO group was used against uh, opponents of the regime in Bahrain. Yeah. They found nine Bahraini activists whose phones were hacked with Pegasus between June 2020 and February of this year. Uh, some of them were hacked with a uh, zero-click attack that bypassed the blast door that Apple was uh, using yeah. to, to protect. And that's, of course, a real cause for concern. Um, the, the other cause for concern is you can make it a pretty strong case that the NSO group says, well, we only sell this to responsible governments. Well, maybe this isn't a... All right, not the top of the list. Not the top of the list. Uh, and the people they're using to attack with this, journalists and activists, um, probably deserve a little bit and more And my security. understanding is that the, this was stuff that was not yet inside. Like, it, it, it does go through Blastor because the stuff that it's attacking is not com completely secured by Blastor, but that's part of the ongoing process of Blastorifying right. more and more content types in iMessage. It's, I mean, all of these attacks are multi-layered. Uh, you get in one part and then another yeah. part, but, but they call it forced entry. Um, yes. And it's actually, it's a great, this is a great piece because they have logs, the crash logs and so forth. These uh, activists were able to get their phones to the monk school and they were able to really analyze the logs. Um, yeah. Google yes. deletes the logs, so we don't know yeah. exactly what's happening on Android devices, but we have a much better idea of what's going on. Yeah, uh, are, are, are the saving iOS. grace at this point is just that these these kind of zero days on the iPhone are so valuable that the only people who can afford them are state governments. Uh, and when it, when it comes when it comes to the point where anybody with five hundred dollars uh, and uh, who can do a Bitcoin transaction and knows how to find things on the dark web can get a trace on any phone that they have a phone number for, that's when things go straight to hell. Yeah, they uh, uh, the even have samples of. There is that it's. Go ahead. I was going to say like, they don't want to burn those exploits. That's why they're so valuable. Right, exactly, because right. if they yeah. if they get wide, then people fix them, and they don't want them to be fixed. So they're incredibly strategic in how they apply them. Right. Yeah. There's some uh, really good uh, examples in the uh, in the piece from uh, CitizenLab.ca, uh, showing the texts, uh, describing how it happened, who was attacked. I think it's really uh, yeah. a, a fascinating read. Just recommend it. And uh, yeah, yeah, we're not you know unless you're a um, political uh, dissident or journalist, you're probably okay. There's every reason to believe NSA and like the, the, the five, what is five eyes, six eyes. I forget how many eyes we have now, but they, they all have, yeah. they don't need Pegasus because they have their own capabilities their own. in this area. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not that they don't, they don't, you know, they won't sell it to them. It's just they if, don't need it. If anything, the bottom line is don't assume that any device that you carry is 100% secure. It's but not. if you're not a huge target either, don't stress over. Like it's, no, it's don't not stress over. Most, some people read right, this right. and they become incredibly anxious about this. And if you're not, if you're not someone that a government's willing to burn a lot of money and exploits on, then you're, right. you, know, you don't have to stay up at night. I, you know, and one good thing that's coming out of all of this, I'm glad that uh, Apple's communication relationship with its users is not treating them like infants like they used to where they they're no longer they're no longer putting out oh well we this is the one platform that's safe and secure and can't be you know oh there's, there are kinds of viruses and malware and all kinds of exploits on all other devices but not on iPhone you're safe with us even though that was really never the case and it wasn't a, it was a hard thing to 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 uh, defend I, you you have to be honest and open with your users about exactly what the vulnerabilities of their device are don't scare them but always make sure that they know the status of the vehicle that they're that they're operating Apple says. Actually, it's an well, analyst. Before we move on, there was oh, another. Yes. There was another report. Um, people have to be careful about this. There was a. The Los Angeles Times is reporting that a man in Los Angeles uh, managed to. I forget the number now. He hacked his way into thousands of iCloud accounts to try to steal nude images of people, and he did it by posing as an Apple support person. And this is happening yeah. on YouTube accounts as well. Like People are posing as customer support, chatting, asking people for their passwords. And just a, a reminder, no no real company is ever going to contact you and ask you for this information. They're never going to try to get into your account, never going to ask for access to your account, never give anyone information on your account because it's never, it's never for legitimate purposes. Yeah. Also, if you're listening to this podcast, you're probably pretty savvy as it is. So take it, take advantage of your savviness and the fact that people who are not quite as clued in as you trust you. And when you visit, when you visit your fr friends and family who 
just trust things to work and have lots of faith in people that haven't been burned off by cynicism and mistrust like we have uh, tell them about this sort of stuff that there's there are ways that if you think that if Apple if you think that Apple is telling you that they've compromised your account there are ways to contact Apple directly uh, and make sure that hasn't happened even though there's no almost no chance that will ever have happened and there they're super smart. Like a, a bunch of really high profile YouTube accounts got hacked because someone went to Google Chat, sent a link yeah. from Google Chat, which therefore get, gets sent through a Google relay. So it shows up as a Google email with a Google link. And when you click on it, the chat person says, hi, I'm YouTube support. You've got double AdSense accounts. We're going to shut you down unless you resolve this immediately. And you start to panic and then they trick you into deleting your account. So like you, yeah. you've just, you, you cannot be careful enough with this stuff.